Western defense chiefs provided the most detailed public outline yet of their plans to remake Ukraine's air force with Western jets such as the F-16 on June 15. The Netherlands and Denmark are stepping up to lead this consortium, and they are outlining the plan for training, Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III told reporters at NATO headquarters after a gathering of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, a collection of roughly 50 nations supporting Kyiv. European nations jumped into action. We're really doing this step by step, Olengren said. So the green light that we got about two weeks ago from Washington is about starting training Ukrainians on the F-16. Among others, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the United Kingdom which has been forward-leaning in its aid and provided advanced weapons such as long-range cruise missiles to Ukraine are taking part. We will see what who can bring to the table," she added. We have F-16s that we can make available. We even have two-seaters, training variants that we can make available. But we're still in the planning phase to see if that is needed or not. Before Ukraine embarked on a recently begun counter-offensive to regain territory, its troops were trained in Western-style combined arms operations. The talk at NATO headquarters over the past few days has had a strong focus on maintenance and sustainment, and away from phases of plugging various holes in Ukraine's military and defense, though denying the skies to Russian aircraft, missiles, rockets, and drones remains the West's top focus. We will stand by Ukraine as long as it takes, Austin said. Ukraine has exceeded Western expectations in its ability to use advanced weapons systems. It has intercepted what Russia bills as a hypersonic missile with one of the US prized Patriot batteries. With the knowledge that the Ukrainians' resolve to fight remains strong, Western officials acknowledge it will need to build a strong, Western-style military to fend off Russian aggression even if a diplomatic solution can be reached. But the multi-role F-16 will require Ukrainian pilots to rethink how they employ air power with Western tech. U.S. officials indicated the decision to sign off on F-16s was not due to see change in expectations on how long providing the aircraft will take, and there is no direct commitment to provide American aircraft. This will take some time, but they're really moving out in a very impressive way, Austin said of the fighter coalition. Over the weeks and months, we've worked with Ukrainians. We've also changed in terms of the kinds of things that we're providing them, and it's been successful, can be seen in where the Ukrainians are today on the battlefield.